All right, D23 was last night, and they had a huge, huge showcase over two hours long of Disney stuff from Disney Animation, Pixar, Marvel, Lucas Films, all of that. This is the video where we're just going to go over everything for Marvel Studios. We will have another video for Pixar, another one for Disney Animation, live action, all of that, and Lucas Films. But this is just Marvel right here. So if you want that, you are in the right place. Before we get into it, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. We're on the road to 35,000 subscribers. Pretty huge panel for D23, I will say, especially considering the fact that they just had a really massive one for San Diego Comic Con where they announced that Rory Downey Jr. will be Doctor Doom. No word on that at this panel. However, this one focused more on Daredevil, I will say. So one of the first things they talked about was Captain America Brave New World and they showed the same footage that they had shown at Comic Con where they show a scene where President Thaddeus Ross, who is played by Harrison Ford, by the way, that press run is going to be legendary. And he is talking directly about the Celestial that came out of the Earth at the end of Eternals. They're acknowledging it. Remember how many tweets were out there saying, when are they going to acknowledge it where are they gonna well here they are well apparently it is the production of adamantium that is coming out of the celestial and adamantium is going to become a pretty huge deal in the mcu going forward sam wilson is shown with joaquin in the falcon suit and they are flying together and then the footage ends with president ross becoming the red hulk at a podium in front of the white house the red hulk just looks insane i will provide a picture right here the red hulk's face looks exactly like ford's only with yellow eyes and black hair so very excited for this one february 14th 2025 we will be getting Captain America Brave New World and you know we're definitely pumped and excited for that more on that as we get closer to it the Fantastic Four first steps are currently filming they showed a little bit of a montage reel at San Diego comic-con and it's the same one they showed last night at D23 the footage filmed in 4-3 aspect ratio looks like a retro television and we see Reed Richards who is being played by Pedro Pascal teaching a classroom asking if they want to see an explosion then we see the thing who is played by Yvonne Moss Bakker rock and seen in a retro dating game show the dating game but only as a silhouette we haven't seen the full like thing yet how it's gonna look we then also end with a footage of the team in astronaut suits which i don't think is something we've seen prior to san diego comic-con like i don't think this was shown at comic-con i think this is new for d23 they enter into a futuristic looking rocket before it takes off and the aspect ratio of the footage changes the footage then ends with galactus face behind a building part of his face is seen through the building in its comic accurate look. We also did get a little bit of a snippet of Michael Giacchino's score for the film and I'm just blown away by that. I think Michael Giacchino is one of the best composers working today. I think Michael Giacchino does a great job at composing these scores that feel very alive and very I would say accurate to how comics feel especially older comic book movies and all of that so I really love that charm that he's going to be bringing to the Fantastic Four. But the film will be coming out July 25th, 2020 and we'll star Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, Joseph Quinn, Yvonne Moss, Bachrock, Julia Gardner, and Ralph Innocent, directed by Matt Shackman. So, very excited for this one. They showed some more footage of Agatha all along with the cast appearing on stage to discuss the series, as well as a new trailer that was showcased. The show will have a two episode premiere on September 18th, 2024, with nine episodes in total, and will be a darker take on sorcery and magic from the MCU. So, super excited for that show. We will definitely be discussing and breaking it down weekly, so stay tuned for that. Then we had Ryan Coogler and the cast of Iron. Heart arrive on stage to talk about the show and Ironheart was a show that I really forgot about I think the show was supposed to come out a couple of years ago but then they had some reshoots and stuff with the MCU shuffling around I'm pretty sure with the Kang stuff and all of that so this takes place right after the events of Wakanda forever where we see Riri in MIT and trying to sort of rebuild her suit and her life you could say and at the same time Riri is trying to fund another project teaming up with Anthony Ramos character to sneak into warehouses and labs in order to find all the resources of course we do know that Ramos will end up turning evil and is shown in a suit and red cape just as the character that he will be playing and we see as Riri is very much so reminiscent of Iron Man flying through and then coming into flip a truck as the trailer ends so this will actually be coming to us with Dominic Thorne Anthony Ramos, Alden Aaron Reck, Lyric Ross, Matthew Alam, Angie White, Manny Montana, and Shea Cooley starring in this. And it's going to be six episodes long and no release date yet. So we do also have the whole thing with Daredevil Born Again. And we finally got a trailer. We had the cast of Daredevil Born Again arriving on the D23 stage to discuss the series, which they described a similar tone as a Netflix series. We also have seen that before the exclusive footage 
which was shown that they were showcasing Daredevil and Kingpin a lot. And the teaser begins with Matt Murdock visiting White Tiger, who is going to be appearing in this show with a very comic accurate costume as well, people are describing. The character tells Matt that we need a hero since the Kingpin has risen in power in New York during this time. We see Frank Castle, who is the Punisher, of course, being played once again by John Bernthal, who did an amazing job, I will say, in the Daredevil series and Punisher series as well. There's a ton of action here. It's showing that Fisk is trying to go and become mayor as well. But we also see at the end of the footage, however, that Matt Murdock and Wilson Fisk are having dinner together and warning about something that's coming. And we also see Matt Murdock's character saying that he's a really good lawyer when somebody asks what kind of lawyer he is. So there wasn't much shown for Thunderbolts. Apparently, the only thing that was shown was just Yelena, who is played by Florence Pugh, sporting a newer, shorter haircut. And I think they're really keeping a lot of things tight about that movie because I feel like there's a ton of things that are going to be sort of uncovered from that movie that lead into the other films. Like, I really do feel we might get a Doctor Doom cameo in there thrown in for sure or a mention of sorts. So I think they're really trying to keep that at bay. But that's just my speculation. I may be wrong, you know. That's always the case with things, right? But overall, I'm still excited. I can't wait to see what they're going to be doing with these movies. I still think Marvel is definitely trying to come back up after everything that has happened to them in the past couple of years. They definitely declined after Avengers Endgame, but I think that they're definitely trying to come back up. And we'll see. We'll see. If they can, they can. If they can't, they can't. That's just the case. I'm not going to be here crying about it. It's just what it is. It's always cycles in film. And I think that the comic book cycle is at its decline right now. But it can always make a little bit of a comeback, right? A dead cat bounce, if you will. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below if you're excited for these films or not. If you like the D23 presentation. And I'm very curious for some of these trailers that we haven't gotten. Like the Iron Heart and some of the other ones as well. So I'm excited to see this whole thing with Iron Heart as well. And seeing Anthony Rammels as a villain. I like Anthony Rammels. I know some people don't really uh, vibe with his acting. But I I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Let me know what you think. Follow for more on things you love. We do still have some videos on Pixar as well as Disney Animation animation and live and all of that so stay tuned and that will all be coming out today so make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell on the road to 35,000 subscribers follow us on our website www.culturalixer.com as well as our instagram at it's cultural elixir i'll see you next time stay safe stay positive